Hi everyone, I'm back from my cruise. It was great. I'll have to do another video talking about that. But when I got back, I started trying to prep for my Halloween swap that I want to do. So I will make a video of that. Stay tuned for that. But in digging around, I found this box that I had bought a D stash. I don't know when. And I thought, I'm going to make that my Halloween stash for this year. So my goal with this is to show you guys everything that I have in this box and try to use all of it. I think it'll be a really fun challenge for myself. So I wanted to share with you guys so then we can come back and look at what I have left at the end of October. So this was part of um, a D stash. Like I'm trying to figure out where to put the box. So this page right here i pulled it out and i cut it up for another video that i'm going to be doing soon but i think this is a complete paper pad so i think the other one that pulled out was the one that i pulled out which is this one and this is what i have left over so i'm going to tuck everything back into this paper pad as i go along so i'm going to be using this stuff plus other things from my stash like of course i have to add in some extra items but this is i want to try to use as much as this as possible I have a bow die, I have a skeleton die, I have a bat box die. So like these dies are going to be really easy that I can use. I'll see like this one's good because it's like a little shaker. This is almost the exact size of a ATC card. So I'm going to do some of those. And then there are some different dies in here. So use up all the dies. Um, okay, so some of this stuff I actually got in recent happy mail that i want to use as well so you can see right here i sorted out some of the orange black and white so i'm going to try to use those up there are these brads over here that are like a dark gun metal so i'm going to try to use some of those up there's some more over here there's some beads in here that i can use like black white and orange so i'm going to try to use as much of this as i can there are these little candy containers that she also sent me so I could probably get like a couple of wire wrapped beads in there, you know, and play with those. There was this box right here. Look, there's another little black one. I got to put it over there. Then there's some more brads in here I can use. I want to use these for sure. Like these are the main ones that I want to use. So I'm like, this is going to force me to make like some kind of embellishment book. So I thought these would be perfect to put on the spine and then dangle one of my chunky charms off of. So definitely going to be using some of those. Uh, this one was just like an extra little box here that um, had some glow-in-the-dark pigs that I gave to Sunny. She said that use these for a journal closure. So I want to use that. There's black and white little beads over here. I had an idea to put this on like a little backpack that I was going to um submit as part of a swap but i kind of want to keep it for myself i like him just hanging out there so i've changed my mind i'm going to keep him okay getting back to some of the other stuff oh, look here she sent me a ton of this mesh too so i'm going to try to use some of that up so here's what else is in that box there are these little witch legs that are technically a banner but i thought about using these as a cover piece for like an embellishment book or maybe do like binder mail i haven't done binder mail in forever so i would be able to use up some of those there are these tiny little pumpkins right here that i thought i could definitely cut in half and use it on you know like that binder mail or embellishment book so oh my gosh look this was from the purple 99 we don't have that no more so probably save that this was really cool i have no idea where this came from but it's parchment paper and i was like oh my gosh that'd be so cool i glue it onto some paper make my own kind of paper with this parchment paper so i definitely want to try to use that up um oh i don't recognize where this is from maybe like a marshall's or something i don't know where that came from so there's that in there there is some of these which would be really easy to put on that binder mail cover there's this pack i think this was like tuesday morning so i could use this part of like my junk journal stuff if i do a halloween one these are gorgeous really really pretty again i can use it on the cover there's these little like wood pieces i probably would paint them oh my gosh i love these so i want to save the jars for like my scrapbooking so i could put like a little like i like to journal with my scrapbook so i want to save the jars but the other pieces i can go ahead and use so i'm gonna try to use that up 
couple little stickers in here. Okay, I don't like birds, so I don't use birds. So I don't really know what I would do with these, but I have them. I'll try to figure it out. Here's some orange butterflies, so that'll be perfect. There's some spiders right here. Again, just for like some binder stuff I think would be really cute. Uh, these are really cool. They're like little metal pieces that I think would be really nice, again, to like add to some projects. I wonder if they fold. Ooh, I could bend this around like maybe the book. Ooh, that would be cool. Okay, I don't want to bend that anymore. Oh, I could use this part of like the chunky charm too. Like put the clasp up here and then like dangle down like some of the like little beads. Oh, that'd be fun. Okay, love that. I don't have these in my stash, so I'm pretty sure these were from the Purple 99, and I don't remember seeing these. So that's really cool to have those. Uh, these are from Walmart. These I'm pretty sure I have in my stash, but I can always use more of those. And then I took out the center little piece to this. So this was from the Purple 99. It's just that tool with spider web that I'm sure we all got over at Dollar Tree. This one was on the spool and I took it off. This I probably won't use. I usually don't use gold for Halloween, but actually I'll go with this. So I might. So I put, um, that came with the box. I put that in there. There are these that I can definitely put like little knickknacks into, which I kind of did. See, there were these little like corner pieces. That's why I was thinking, you know, like a binder mail type thing and using those on the corner. So you can hold your little like knickknacks in here. So I wanted to like decorate it. I want to like paint the eyes, paint a tooth. Um, I got one of these, I think two years ago when I did a swap and they put like a bow and a flower. And I thought it was really cute how she embellished it. So I'm going to do that. There's some washi and these are really, really cool. They're little tickets. Oh, I kind of don't want to use those tickets because I think they're so cool. Then I got some more ribbon. This is awesome okay there are these tiny little pieces in here which i wish i knew where they were from but look at these little like crossbones oh my gosh so um and then these i thought i could take out for like my alice in wonderland junk journal because it reminds me of like um the queen of hearts so yeah just cool cool little mix in here i'll definitely use um i was thinking like a red and black um Halloween project would be cool, kind of like a vampire theme. I thought that would be really nice. Oh, let's see. There is this roll of washi. I love this top one. It's like roses. Love that. And then the last little item here are these black and white roses. Well, there's one more. It's um like a decor piece. But I thought about maybe gluing down some like skulls. Maybe adding some glitter might be cool. So this might be its own video of like redoing it. Oh, look underneath that box here is another one of those webbing in gold. So I have the gold and I have the silver. So that's everything that I'm going to call this year's stash. Just because I want to see how much of this stuff can I use. So I think it'll be really fun to come back at the end of October and let's see what I have left over. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any ideas on what to make with all of this, please let me know down below in the comments. I always love hearing your guys' idea and getting inspiration. So we'll see you later. Bye guys.